All right, putting a Rusty's off-road two-inch lift kit for my 2000 Grand Cherokee today. It's got two 45, 75, 16s on it. It's the Maxxis Buckshots, mudders, pretty nice tire. Brand new tires, still got all the nubs on them. Let's get this lift on here. All right, so this is what the Rusty's Off-Road two and a half inch kit comes with. That's the rears, that's the fronts. Let's see how it looks. Okay, to put this kit on, you're gonna wanna jack the, jack the vehicle up by the front axle, get it off the ground, get it supported over here by the frame with a jack stand. Now I'll set it down a little bit. There we go. Now that you've got your vehicle supported on the jack stand, you go ahead and pull the tire off. Okay, now for safety, you just throw the tire underneath the truck. Be a little bit more safe. The only thing we're gonna have to remove is the two 15 millimeter bolts on the bottom of this one. And your sway bar. It's a 15 millimeter on one side and a 19 on the other. Okay, let's go ahead and get the two bottom bolts off the bottom side of the shock. Uh, shock's loose. After we disconnect the sway bar, we're going to start compressing the spring. That loosened up a little bit. Let's see if I get it off like this. There we go. Got that one off. Just get that bolt out of there. Swing this out of the way for now. Okay, so now you got that swung out of the way. You got that disconnected. Time to put your compressors on here and get compressed. Okay, this coil is going to drop quite a bit now that you have your sway bar disconnected and your shock disconnected, and it's only being held up by the floor jack under the axle. What I'm going to do is lower the floor jack and give that coil a whole bunch of room and then put the compressors on there and, and lift the floor jack back up. I'm going to put this one down because it's going to be jamming. These tops are going to come up into here once you get it tightened up. So you're going to want to have it as low as possible. Okay, now that you have your coil compressors on there, you could either start tightening them at the bottoms 
and that will compress it down or you can jack up the axle and just kind of keep tightening them by hand until it's really compressed. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, now that I've got it compressed way down, I'm going to let the axle down quite a bit, and that thing should just pop right on out. Now we just got this out. It's got this little nub on here in the very bottom. And cut that nub off. And here's your cup. Cup just goes in there. It jumps on there like that. Cut that nub off. Put it all back in there. Okay, just took a razor blade, cut that nub off real quick. Go ahead and pop this back in there. Jack the vehicle up, put some pressure back on it a little bit. Alright, I should good enough to get him up out of there. I was going to run away on that one. Now that you got that all buttoned up, got that all buttoned up, let's go ahead and raise it back up and get the tire on it and we're done. Stand out of here, lower it back down. Alright, got the front done. 